What's up team, it's your biggest fan, The Real Casadero, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you to program, and by the end of this video, you will have written a useful program that you can use to help you in your day-to-day -day life, and it may even possibly help you get... So let's open up PowerShell in every Windows machine that was built. Well, I, I don't even know about every... Every... If you're on a computer that does not have power, if it's a Windows computer and it does not have PowerShell on it, then it's, something is wrong. Your life is probably in shambles. You, you, you probably hate your job and your wife and your kids and everything. Like, be, I, I don't know where you're working where the company is using a version of Windows that doesn't have PowerShell on it. So anyway, we've got PowerShell. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up. We're going to hit the Windows key and we're going to open up Note. Well, do we need? Yeah, we're going to open up Notepad. Because one of the flaws of Windows, and not many people know this, is it does not come with the text editor built into the command prompt. You have to go to the Internet and download it, at least in the, at least in the current versions. I mean, I don't know. Maybe back in the DOS days, I remember using some sort of text editor. Maybe there is a text editor in PowerShell, but I can't, I've never heard of it and I can't find it. But I didn't, I didn't look very hard either. So what we're going to do is we're going to type our code into Notepad. But first we want to make sure we're in the right directory. So here I'm on the D drive. But I know for a fact that Notepad, when I try to save this, it's going to try to save it someplace crazy. So we're going to go Control S and is going to try to save it to my PowerShell profile folder. We don't want that. So we're just going to paste this directory right there. And if we hit enter, it was, oh, it says it cannot be found. Hold on. We're going to do this again. We'll grab this control C, go back to notepad, control V. And then instead of that symbol at the end, we're just going to give this a name and the name is going to be a uh, new dash project dot ps1 and so now we have our new project dot ps1 and here's the deal every time i start a new project a new web development project i have to type a bunch of folders right so i have to go and i'll do a um you know here actually we'll just type it in here so the first thing i do is i make all the folders that i need and we are going to zoom in so you can see so the first thing i do is make all the folders folders i need and i so that's a command of mkdir and then i type all the folders names so i'll go css and javascript and then i'll make a documents folder for the documents i'll make an image folder for the images and that's it and then i'll go and i will type in new item and i will make a new dash item i will make make a index.html I'll make a main.css, but the main.css has to go in the CSS folder. So that goes here in the CSS folder. And then I have to make a, we might as well just copy this, control C, control V. I have to make a JS to hold the JS files. And this is pretty much typically the, the, what, what I do whenever I make a new project. Now, this isn't a lot of work, but when you start to think about the fact that this isn't a lot of work and it can be done faster, that means that you can do exponentially more work exponentially faster. So when it comes to learning to code and learning to program and learning to write applications and all this stuff, right, we have to we have to think a different kind of way. Right now, we are programming one another to believe that a job is the route to go. It, right, we need a job to get money, which is cool, but what happens is we get sucked into the job and we stick around for a very long time and most of us are not happy doing the jobs that we're doing and we aren't learning anything. But m most importantly, right, computers are gonna take your job and there's no, there's 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 no getting around that team right it's going to happen at some point but you can be the person that programs the computer and you can be the person and and, and here's it, it gets even more powerful if you're the person that can program the computer you're the person that can do anything you can uh, you can automate almost everything you do and it's only going to get easier 
is it, it's going to get easier and easier and easier, team. And you can be a part of that. And this is where we're starting, right, with the simple script. Just thinking about this. If we can make one directory on one computer, we can make millions of directories on millions of computers, right? And it's all just us issuing commands. So what we're going to do is... We're going to turn this into a program. So we'll put a semicolon at the end that's going to say, hey, this is one command. We'll put another semicolon here. It's going to say, hey, this is another command, completely separate command. These are both commands, right? So we're calling PowerShell and we're telling PowerShell to, to do this stuff. And then we're calling PowerShell again and we're telling PowerShell to do this stuff. This is how every programming language works. All we are doing is telling a computer to do something in a series of steps that's it now we I want to create these folders inside of a different folder so they don't so I don't just have this directory full of folders so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about so we're gonna go control s to save we're gonna go back here to the construct and if we do a dir there is this new project.ps1 right here and if we do a git dash content that's gonna show us what's in this new project file and it's the same stuff that we just typed now if we type in new project and hit tab we can execute this file now we can execute it because we're telling powershell another command we're just giving powershell we're saying hey powershell right and powershell is waiting for us to type something this is a program it's reading what we're typing it said we say dot and then we put a dash and powershell knows right he's he's saying in this folder do something with this file in this file is project.ps1. When PowerShell sees that this is a PS1 file, it starts to read what's inside the file and do what the file says. That's programming. All right, so we're going to hit enter. And it's going to try to make all this stuff, but it can't because it ran into some sort of error somewhere. Could not find a part of the path DCSS uh, main CSS. So this, and it tells me where that problem is. It's on PowerShell one in line number two. So if we go to our document over here, it's on, let's see, PS one line two. All right, so our error is on line two. And let's look at this. We're saying we wanna make a new item. Oh, index.html, we wanna make that. And we wanna make that in whatever directory that we're in already. And then we want to make a, maybe we don't need this opening bracket. So we'll save and we'll do a DIR. And oh, we got all these extra files over here right now because everything created in this directory. And we don't want to do that. And we don't want to have to take this, this folder around everywhere we go. So what we'll do is we'll go back over here and we'll just say, we'll make these in a new project directory and we'll just call that directory code so we'll do make a code dash css directory and we'll make a code uh, well actually we'll copy this we'll copy this right here control c and inside of that code directory we're gonna make a code.js and we'll do a All right, so everything is going to go in the code folder. We'll put some spaces in here just to make it re make it easier to read. We'll do the same thing for this images, of course. And then over here, our index is going to go just in the code folder. But our CSS, our, our JS is going to go in the JS folder. So it's going to go in code. Hold on, control Z to undo that CSS.js. This should be main.js main.css this should be main.js right here main.js and then all of this stuff i see i messed this all up this is this is probably where our error was so we'll get rid of this all right so what we're doing here right we call it we're giving powershell a command hey powershell we want a new item powershell goes what 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 do you what's this new item going to be we say hey we want a code and we want Inside of the code folder, we want you to put an index.html. So we got to spell this right. M L. And inside of this CSS directory, we want you to put a main.css file. And inside of this, well, not inside of this CSS directory. There we go. 
there we go this is going to be yeah it's going to be css but it's going to be code c-o-d-e forward slash css and then this one over here for the javascript is going to be code slash js slash main.js all right so now we're saying hey make all this stuff but make it in a different folder so we'll go back over here and we had this error they gave us a chance to look at something and figure some things out while we were in there we ran into some typos that we made and all kinds of stuff so we go back over here and what we got to do now is we got to clean up our old mess so we're going to go uh, start dot and we'll go out here and this is going to open just a regular explorer window and we're going to get rid of all the stuff that we don't that we don't need all right so we don't need that we don't need this i'm just going to control select these so i'm going to zoom in so you guys could see we're going to get rid of this js folder we're going to get rid of this image folder this uh, hold on what directory are we in yeah we're in the construct okay so we're going to get rid of js image doc css and index and that's it and we're going to delete those delete and now those are all gone and now we're going to go back here and we're going to try our program again so if we do a dir all that stuff is gone we'll clear in the ndir so you guys could see and now we're going to run our new project again so we're going to do a, a dot backslash new and then we can just hit tab or powershell is smart when we when we type new and we hit tab powershell searches the a directory is in for anything that starts with the in character and it finds this file and when we and that's the first thing it shows us but if there was something else in here with the in it would show us those two all right so well not necessarily in this directory there's commands that start with in as well so anyway we're going to go new dash project pro and hit tab and run it and now what has happened let's see so we've made construct so it made this folder in this directory it made this ah we messed up dir we didn't restart powershell so <clears throat> so w basically we got to go restart powershell to clear out all of the information that powershell already has so we can start fresh but before we do that we're going to have to start dot and go get rid of all these files again now we could do this in the command line we could just delete them or we could delete them ourselves but uh but that requires a lot more typing so we'll just come in here and we'll just do this css docs and code so we'll go later code no nope. we want to keep the code we'll get rid of css docs images and js and index so we'll get rid of those delete and now we'll go back to powershell and we'll type exit and it doesn't matter when we exit PowerShell, it's just that's when I chose to exit it. So no, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure everything looks good. So when we make a directory, we're gonna make a code inside of the code directory. And actually, that directory that we want to make this stuff in, well, you know, we'll leave it like this, this is good. So we're, just, we're saying make a CSS directory inside of the code directory, make a JS inside of the, and so on and so forth. Make sure we got this right. See it code. All right. This is not. Yeah, this is correct. Okay. All right. So we'll save. And we'll go back. To, and now we'll open PowerShell again. So we'll go PowerShell. And do a DIR. And let's run new project. So we'll type NEW tab and hit enter. And it created the files it looks like it looks like it created them all in this oh there we go okay so there's code all right so when we do a dir we have a code directory and then when we do a dir code we can see what's in that directory now to make sure this worked we're going to do a code we're going to do a del code forward slash star and that's going to delete all the files in that code directory we just hit a and we'll do a dir well dir in the code directory dir again dir in the code directory and so you see right so everything in the code directory is gone we'll clear this out and do another dir and if when we run this project if files end up in the code directory we have a working program so we're going to click the select this we're going to right click 
and then we're going to type well actually we'll just right click again and then we hit tab in order to make sure PowerShell knows hey this is a file it's a PowerShell one file inside of PowerShell we want to run it we want to run these commands so we'll hit enter and it does it let's do dir there's nothing in this there's nothing new in this directory dir code now we have all of these files in this directory and we have just wrote a program this is a program that creates that creates files it creates the files we need now the other aspects of programming are the writing to files the updating of files that's adding and removing information to and from them and then the deleting of files and we actually covered the deleting of files today but we can write functions and all kinds of programs to do all kinds of stuff like this all over the place now we've created this basic scaffolding and we have this index.html so we can begin coding a web project now in the very next video that's coming down the pipe team I'm going to be showing you how to build a website from scratch from the ground up with nothing but HTML CSS and JavaScript you don't have to go out and learn a bunch of fancy stuff but you are going to be able to create a fantastic website and this is the website we're going to be creating in the very next video too we are going to be making supreme New York Dot com and on this site they have a nice logo up here they've got full page background image with the tint on it we've got links that light up when we scroll over them so do the social media links and they have a clock here and this clock actually tells the real time if we do a control T and go over to get time and date dot com uh, get time and date Oh, geez. Come on, man. There it is. Timeanddate.com. I should have started this website. I've known about this website for like 20 years now. But anyway, team, the um, as you can see right here, it says 7.55 p.m. And we could go here and we could put in a city and we could put in New York. And it tells us right there in New York, it is almost 11 p.m. And if we go back to the website, it tells us it's almost 11 p.m. So we're going to be incorporating this technology in that video as well, team. So that is it, team. We have done it. We, we've, we've done it. You did it. You've learned to code. You have seen the, the fundamentals of all programs. And now, if you want to learn more, all you got to do is go out and seek more knowledge. And the best way to do that, well, one of the best ways to do that is head over to the Code365 Startup Lab team where you will find introductory courses in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, whatever it is, you name it, is there. And you could also, if you want to, you could join the Code365 Startup Lab community. And all that does is uh, for 99 bucks, you get lifetime access to all the courses that I'm making. So right now in the free section, you see there's a bunch of free courses here. But if you go over into three, into the Startup Lab, I'm working on one humongous, one humongous course that's going to be HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is going to encompass a ton of stuff it's going to cover everything you need to know to build modern web applications and i'm talking have an idea design it out code it out put it on the internet and then scale it out sell it do whatever it is you want to do team that is what i'm building into this course and as time goes on i'm going to be building other courses as well for different projects like like the website project for instance so if you want to support the channel if you want more content sign up for the code 365 startup lab right now it is 99 bucks for lifetime access and i think i'm gonna leave it at 99 bucks for lifetime access uh probably until the end of the year team so take advantage grab that and if you if you want to just test it out for a while the $20 a month will get you there, but you can also just take any one of the free courses and I'll have more independent courses coming just like this team. The one I'm really excited about right now is the one that is going to replace the web dev primer and that is going to be HTML genius. And that's where we're going to dig deep and we're going to get down into the nitty gritty of HTML and be able to really build some cool stuff that uh, a lot of people just don't even know about because they don't go out and they don't read the documentation and they
this stuff team so that is it it is me your biggest fan of the real casadero i look forward to seeing you next time team i don't know you i never met you but i know you got greatness within you and i will see you in the next session <laughs>